Well, happy Monday, friends. We are heading into the best time of year, Halloween. Jen is a Halloween master. If you did not know this, the best Halloween party happens to be at KW Coastal. And the only way you're going to change my mind is by making sure I'm tagged and I see all of your photos from your Halloween parties that are happening at the Market Center. They're lit at Coastal. So Coastal Rhode Island. Sorry, Sally. Sally, Coastal Rhode Island, because I, 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 I do know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> and I love this time of year, one, because my mom sends me all my throwback photos. That's probably one of the best things about this is my mom's always like, do you remember when you were this plastic thing with a little flammable cape? Yep, mom, I totally remember the 80s and dressing up. But I love it because people are dressing up their dogs, their homes, their porches, their mantles. There's so many people who get involved in Halloween. And I always just love to see how people are interacting on social media. So if you're not sure what to put outside of all the great things we're putting out, I dare you to grab a throwback photo. I dare you to show the pictures of your dogs or you trick or treating, but get out there and get social about this because this is one of those times of years that everybody's on social media poking around commenting on people's costumes my poor child is someone this year that nobody's going to know unless you're a teenager or older adult who watch cartoon network she's marceline the vampire queen from adventure time which i probably shouldn't be letting her watch adventure time but she has older brothers so i've got a fin is. i don't even know any of those words. exactly I know. I know this poor kid's gonna she's in third grade she's gonna have to explain it to everyone but she doesn't care she's rocking it with her vampire teeth and wig and custom guitar and she's so happy so do you dress up for halloween before we kick off with our huge announcement social media and our family feud finally all our answers are in from family feud. put it in the chat do you dress up for halloween and what are you going to be for halloween this year i love to know these things jen have you decided your costume are you guys from well, I um, haven't decided my costume for the last probably three to four years with yeah, the cause... child I have because she dictates basically everything. So um, we are, last year, was it last year when I was um, Mrs. Potts? She was Belle. My husband was the Beast and I was Mrs. Potts. And then the year before that, it was Encanto and I was Louisa. <laughs> you know, the... I'm the strong one. I'm not nervous. This year she picked, wait, this is, this is. This is actually, for me, if anybody knows me, this is like the opposite of who, who I am. I am going to be matching with Evie as cowgirl Barbie. What? I thought you were being one of the emotions. Well, I that's thought... for separate. That's, that's another thing. Oh, we have multiple. <laughs> for Halloween. Changes. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah we have multiple. For Halloween, we're being matching cowgirl Barbies. That is a sight to see, folks. I was yeah. the opposite of a Barbie fan. Same, same. As a child. <laughs> so. I, I love this. So, yeah, so I'm seeing we've got an office. The people will be butterflies. They will be the great pumpkin theme, and they were Charlie Brown. I love that. A black cat, very original. Dressing up as Pink Panther and the inspector. Our dog is a dragon. Love it. Our poor dog is a fairy. And we put it on her this weekend and she literally just sat down in pure defeat. She was like, I mean, she always looks defeated. That's her face. Like she always looks sad and underfed, but she is in pure defeat over this costume. I Poor love Rosie. that. Chucky's wife. You're the second person I've seen say that this year. Chucky must be back. All right, listen, we got to see what Monica is going to be. I don't know if anybody knows who Monica is on this call yet, but Monica Williams is our new regional operations manager, and she's on the call with us. Is this one of your first calls? Second yes, call? second yes. call. Yeah. Well, welcome to the call officially as the regional representative with us. Um, what are Thank you going to be for Halloween or your kids? So I'll be a scarecrow with my daughter because also my daughter dictates what I do. Yeah, so I can relate to that. Yeah, looking forward to it though. It'll be fun. Um, I think I'd rather be a scarecrow. <laughs> like a goat or like a good farm animal or a flight attendant. 
<laughs> Monica actually comes to us from the airline industry. So that's why I'm teasing her about being. I sure do. I thought about that. Though. That would be quite easy for me to get the uniform, the flight attendant. Yeah. 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 All right, friends. That's one of our announcements. So meet Monica. You're going to be seeing her face everywhere with the KW New England Regional Crew. We love her. She is a ton oh, of fun. Thank you. I will be with her tomorrow in Portsmouth. So if you need me, that's where I'll be. Brain dumping into her and friends. This is my second to last M3 call for one of the coolest reasons ever. I and my family are making the trek to Austin for a new role down at Austin One Market Centers. So the ALC Clinic will be my last event with the region if you're going and I hope to see you there if you are. But this is my, yep, yeah, next week. And then I am off to Austin. Our whole family moves down the first week of January. So that's why we had the song. Thank you guys so much. It has been so fun. These last few years with Jen, you guys didn't have enough blooper reels of me to make <laughs> sure <laughs> and be cracking myself up over my hashtags for years to come. So if you need a little bit of my ridiculousness, you can just go back to past recordings, but you are in great hands with this team and they are currently interviewing people for the next RTT role. Be nice to that person because they will love you as much as I do. So thank you for everything in the last few years. I love you guys. Yeah, it's definitely bittersweet for us here. Um, I, it was such a weird emotion when she called to tell me about, about her opportunity because like on one hand, I'm super excited. Like she's she's been working her bum off for this kind of opportunity and she deserves every single bit of it. And then the other hand, I was very selfish. And I was like, <laughs> this stinks. And I did, didn't use that language. I use a little aggressive language. This stinks for yeah, that's us. That's not the word that was used, but that's okay. No. Yeah, it's all right. Um, this stinks for us because, you know, we've had such a great team for so many years and a great run at it. And I mean, this this call alone wouldn't be what it is without, without Brooke and her support on it. So um, definitely going to be Miss Brooke, but I'm so excited for you. On the other hand, it's like one of those, like, I don't know. Things. It's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. Yeah. Cause I love my region and my agent. So yeah. I will miss you. Oh, you'll be you will see me. You will see me in Austin. Maybe I'll pop mm -hmm. on and be a guest and drive you insane, but I will see you when you are down there visiting. All right. We All done right. with being sad and we can get into the good stuff do it all right let's do it so this week's social media we are continuing with a few halloween themes and some other things so if you're friends with me on social media i did test this post on my page before giving it to you guys and i laughed hysterically we are asking you all about the coat pocket <laughs> so it's that time of year we are taking coats out of the closet i have found money i have found cough drops I have found receipts that are so old that you can't even tell where they're from. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> tons of pocket lint. But put in the chat, what is what is something you have found in your <laughs> in your jackets? Somebody found twenty four hundred dollars. What? Yeah. He posted on my Facebook page on the thing. He was like, I found twenty four hundred dollars. And I was like, sir. He's like, yeah, I went to the casino, came home, forgot about it. <laughs> oh, man. I Sally, wish that you know happened. who it is. You know who it is. I probably know who it is, too. Yep, yep. If you're in Portsmouth, you know who it is. But this is hysterical. And the banter and the playfulness that happened on my Facebook page was hysterical. And I can't wait to see what people tell you they have found in their coat pockets when uh, transitioning between the seasons um handkerchief or tissues because there's a big difference put that in the chat i always love a good a good tissue all right then lots of grumps oh my god chapstick yes and then, then let's when I find like the orange peels that evie just puts in my jacket because <laughs> she'll peel an orange and just stuff it in my pocket instead of her own and then i don't know until or the trash i wear that next you yeah. know like why would she put it in the trash i mean <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Then let's let's send a little love out into our Facebook world. I'm noticing 
through our political world and the timing and the climate of the world right now that there's a lot of negativity on Facebook. So we're going to spice it up with some happy spice. We're putting pumpkin spice in. This is happy compliment spice this week. So tell them what's the best compliment you've ever received, right? Make sure you put yours in the comment, but what is the best compliment you've ever received? Please put yours in the chat. And then you're gonna ask them in this to tag someone and give them a compliment. We're just gonna flood the feeds with compliments, but here's the tricky, <laughs> this is a tricky one. When they tag people, you invite them to your page. Yep, 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 because you have the ability to do that. So it's kind of sneaky, it's kind of crappy, but it's all about compliments. But I love it because you're going to add followers to your page because you're simply going to invite them. You're just going to do it. You're not going to think overthink it. Nope, nope. All my high D's in the room, stop it. My C's, stop it. You're just going to do it. Invite and move along. Do you get mad when people invite you to your pages, their pages? Absolutely not. Thank you for the 13 I got last week. I liked all of your pages. Do it. Move on. All right. We do this every year and it starts wars, Jen. It's my it favorite. It's my favorite war to start. Are you ready? Candy corn. It's awful. Look at Monica's face. Blah. Wait, wait, Monica, what was your face? Not good, right? Right? Yeah, no, not good. Oh, good. Phew. All right. See, and I'm that psychopath. I actually like it, but I can't eat a lot of it. I'll have like one or two nibbles of corn and I'm done and I'm happy. I can't sit there and eat it like popcorn. But are you team? Oh, see? Justice for the candy corn eaters. It's in the chat. Rejoice. But this is your this or that. Candy corn, love it or leave it. Some say it's the ultimate Halloween treat. Well, others think it's a trick. This is my he favorite. Says it's word. the ultimate Halloween treat. Like I, I want to talk to that person. Love it, Mike. Mike. Mike, I need to know. <laughs> no, is it? Don't, don't you, answer her. You... Nope. It's okay. It's not o open candy corn. No judgment it. here. I'm Mike just said it. <laughs> Look at the chat. He said, "Open the chat. Yeah, Dump it in the like, trash. Yeah, Turn around and eat Reese's." <laughs> yes. I no cannot. judgment if you like candy corn, but do you see how funny this is? And let me tell you, you either like it or you don't. There's no, mm, if it's out in some weird ass candy dish, maybe I'll take a bite. No, this is like people are on opposite sides, Harry. I don't know how we allowed gifts in our chat, but we did. This is amazing. So there is your social media for this week oh my god i cannot wait i, I... You know the worst thing is is that i try them every year like i know i don't like them but i'm like all right let me just try it this year maybe no. it's going to be different <laughs> every time my body's like why do i do this to myself they're awful <laughs> it's so good you know what's even worse are those pumpkins and oh. because they become like they're waxier they are and they're projectiles and dentists love them or like they're like yes you keep eating those and coming back to us because i'm gonna have to give you a full set in the back of new teeth because they will break oh. your teeth all right oh my god anyway, oh, I, hold up. I am laughing this is this is my favorite time of year i'm like it's time it's time to bring out the candy corn post all right ready all oh, so, our... so let me just answer Aaron's question in the chat because he is new. If you're new here, here's how it works. All of these lovely uh, social media posts are available to you. As soon as this call ends, you will typically have an email already in your inbox because you registered for this call and it will Let's contain it. the content it uh, of today's email, of today's um, social media post. And you will also have access to it on our social media group page, which is called the M3. Is it KWN3? Yep. And I M3. put the link in. You just got to tell us what KW you're with, where you are behind a wall so that we don't let robots in and then everybody gets spammed and nobody likes that crap. So, so there's two ways to get that content. Um, the quickest way is for uh, look into your email today. At some point for after today's call, you will have it. Oh, my God, Matt. Candy corn is edible. I'm just getting to these comments right now. They are I so fun. All right, slideshow. Hold on, let me get to, I don't want full screen. Kai, 
So a couple of weeks ago, we sent out this survey for Family Feud style questions and you guys answered. Some of y'all are ridiculous. I'm just gonna say that right now with some of these questions. Some of you are ridiculous and you can't take anything seriously and it's why I love this damn region so much. All right, let's get to these. And I can't wait to share the answers with you because I think some of them are going to surprise you and scare you, maybe delight you. So here we go. All right, in our Hope in House Family Feud, the music died. The first question we asked was, using only one word, what describes an important, oh, I can't spell, an important quality you look for in an agent covering your open house? The really cool thing about this one, Jen, yeah. was that they said the same thing. They just used, well, a lot of misspellings. Knowledgeable is the hardest word to spell. I'm going to tell you that right now. I cannot spell it without spell check. But it was the same ones that had the top two that I was really shocked about. So let's show you. Wait, can we get guesses? Oh, maybe oh no, I'll let guesses. you guess the next one. Sorry, because this one I was so excited, okay? Knowledgeable. Was the number one response? Yes. You gave that away, thanks. It was the number one, but I was shocked. 48% said knowledgeable of all the respondents. What made me super excited about this is that you are all here doing the things to make you even more knowledgeable about open houses, but it just goes to show if an agent wants you to cover your open house, the open house, they want you to know your stuff. So yeah, how are you? It's a big it? thing, Harry. I agree with you. I think that goes into, I guess, the least one, confident, dependable. Put it, did you answer and put it in the thing? Because they put all no, the answers. You didn't send it to me. You didn't want my answers. No, I didn't. But Harry. Yeah, punctual. We're going to get to that because we asked what time you should arrive on one of the questions. Harry didn't know there was a thing. It's okay. I still love you. Organized, professional, friendly, competent, and dependable. So, Harry, I would put dependable under punctual. I would lump those into the same. So my question is, how are you showing up by these things every day? when you are answering those posts in your Facebook groups for open house coverage or saying, hey, I'm available this weekend to cover. Or say, hey, I am a knowledgeable agent in your office that would be very excited to come fully prepared and professional to your open house with a smile and I will be there on time. Maybe not. Don't be, maybe not an aggressive smile. Very demure, very cutesy. Oh, is that, was that aggressive? Yeah, that was, I was aggressive in my smile. <laughs> I was just using each one of these points in explaining oh why somebody would want to work. Somebody. Why That's hire me for. to do your open house? Well, one, it's not really hired. It's why let me. I'm knowledgeable. I'm organized. I'm professional and friendly. And I'm going to show up on time and do all the things. If you don't know what all the things are for an open house, let's get up to date on that. Okay. Name one thing an agent should do the day before an open house. This one scared me a little bit, friends. I had to take out some answers. Bathe was actually one of the freaking answers, Harry. Shower and bathe came up two times. Mean. Uh, yeah, I appreciate that. I hope we don't have to say that. But what else, friends? What else should we do the day before an open house? Give me a couple guesses. Throw it in the chat. Flyers to neighbors. Pull comps or so prepare. What else? One more and then we'll go. How about, well, can I answer? Can she answer, gang? Okay, yep. <laughs> Survey says <Yeah>. yes. <laughs> How about be prepared with an open house sign-in, whether it be digitally or by print, have, being prepared with materials? Oh, we should check it. Yeah, 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 what she said. I love it. So let's see what the breakdown was. So 48% of you said prepare. I say that's a I BS was. answer. I want to know more. It's, it's a, you know what it is? It's a BS answer. I want to know more. What does preparation look like to you? Because how I prepare for an open house in an area in an HOA where they don't allow to do things may be very different than an open house where Mike McPherson works and they don't have HOAs. So it's very different depending on the type of property, where you're located and what your town laws or rules say you could even do. So I want to know more about that. I'm going to put a post out later Make sure you answer what prepare actually means. The second was door knock. That was 19%. That actually shook me. 
Like, I thought that would be a lot higher. Door knock or alert the neighbors. I thought that one was going to be way higher because Ignite and a lot of our programs talk about that. But then again, I remember we have Maine and we have Vermont and we have New Hampshire. And sometimes you cannot door knock between acres and acres of land. So this kind of makes sense. Social media, advertise, put out signs, and then one person wrote, and I don't know if this is a joke, blast out the emails to other agents. Don't do that. The number one thing agents have asked other agents to stop doing is blasting them their open house because they all have access to the MOS. Okay. Name one thing an agent should bring to an open house. Just one. Go. One thing. Your cell phone. <laughs> cell phone. What else? The way to sign in. What else? Disclosure forms. Just say it. Well, we would hope that was part of prepare. Misha, you and I are on the same page. Yeah. <laughs> A buddy. I would be our open house of buddies. I just oh, won't buddy. talk to you. Actually, I agree with that. that no, I, I agree. Yeah. Thank you, safety officer Mike. Appreciate that. All right, ready? Number one thing was a sign in sheet. So, yay! Don't forget you have open house sign in sheets on your command websites that are chef's kiss, laptop, and a phone, marketing materials. Music was actually high up there. Pens was one of the lowest things. Hello, friends. Why is it realtors never have pens? I go to classes, I bring bags of pens with me. You never have pens. Make pens a thing. And then- I'm feeling one judged person. right now. Like, I feel like I always have a hard time finding a pen, but I have so many pens. You have a pen. I am guaranteeing you have thousands of them. But my favorite, one answer. I think there was just one lone wolf on this survey that was out there to just mess with me. A change of clothes. I don't wanna know why you need a change of clothes. But let's just say, be prepared. I love this. This must be a scout. This has got to be a scout in our midst. Okay, Mike, thank you. All right. Name one thing that is a sign of a successful open house. And go. What's something? No, Jen. Sit on it. Hold your hands. Chew on it. An offer. People, explain that. Like traffic. People asking questions. So that, that means there has to be people there, right? Or do you mean like people online? Like unrepresented buyers? Ooh, good conversations. Unless they didn't shower, bathe, or maybe they need the change of clothes. Gotcha. Okay. I was kind of shocked nobody said toilet paper on what to bring, by the way. All right, ready? Sorry for that. I do too. Number one was leads. That you got people to actually buyers. sign in. That was 67%. That was a huge vote. The next was feedback. So I'm assuming that you mean like feedback, like from how those programs online, they can put feedback in or other agents provide feedback. That's what, how I'm, I'm reading that one. I think feedback on the property. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking on like from agents or, you know, like a lot of the, um, when you set up the time to see the property or you sign in for the open house, you can also give feedback. Attendance and traffic offers and then our lone wolf said they didn't have time to watch TV at the open house. Your name is attached to this. We're going to be having a conversation after today. Okay. What's the first thing an agent should do when a visitor enters the open house? I loved this one. This one was fantastic. It was magical because you guys were all on team a or team b of the answers that came in and they're kind of the same thing the lone wolf did not give me an answer on this one by the way what do you it's it's almost 50 50. it's not are we ready because you guys are there you said either greet them and then it was very decisive with thank them it was one or the other there was no greet and thank it was greet them or it was thank them. And it was 60% greet them, 40% thank them. I thought that was incredible. So at least we're saying hello. But I like having the thank you. Does that surprise anybody? Good. All right, and here's the last one. 
I gotta tell you, Doris Bergeron would be very sad with some of your answers. If the open house starts at 11 a.m., what time should you arrive? Harry, for the what open do you think? House? He said punctual. I don't know what that means because does that mean at 10.59 or does that mean? Can I tell you what time if I was a buyer, I would be sitting outside that house because I'm a psychopath and I'm early everywhere. I would be at that house at 10.35 a.m. waiting because I am a COVID real estate person and I still have PTSD from lines around the corners. Right? And if I want this house bad enough, what do you think I'm going to do? So what I'm you're saying is it depends on the demand of what you think for that house? Is what I think so too, think? but here's here's the thing. If, if you're set to arrive, has anybody ever driven through Providence? Yeah. Okay, so you're covering an open house on the other side of Providence. You live on this side. You've got to get to the other, and you decide to leave at 1030, even though it's 15 minutes to get there for 1045, and two accidents roll in. You picking on Providence? I am, because you know what? It's, I don't, I'm not going to, mm-mm. It's not fun to drive through Providence because that's always where I have to go to the bathroom and I have to go past it or I have to make sure I stop before it because there's nowhere to get out. It's scary. Okay. So we the top of sort of pizza. You get good pizza and the bathroom yeah. actually works. So. Yeah, I love that pizza actually. So what do you think the top answer was, Jen? Um, I would probably guess that the answer was 1030. Yeah, I would get there earlier. Thank you. The top answer was actually 9.30. The wow. book, 38% though. I don't think that's a high enough time, right? So I don't think that's enough. People voted for the right time. The next one was 10.30. Then it was neck and neck, 14%, 9 a.m. And another 14% with 10.45. I'm telling you, if 10.45 is your time, in my world, you're late. Because you, you've got to line out the door of agents and people that could be ready to go depending on the market, the property, the pricing, the area. You don't and have then, time to set up like, like properly right. and be prepared and making sure the house, it has its best foot forward for when you do have guests. Like I want to make sure that every single light is is mm -hmm. on or highlighting what needs to be highlighted. I want to get myself set up so that way there's a display of what it looks like with the proper documentation, the disclosures, the flyer, the sign-in. I want to make sure I have a setup. I mean, sometimes I even put apple pies, you know, the frozen ones. I wouldn't make them. I would go get like, <laughs> I would go get those, um, what, what, Mrs. Smith? Fields. Mrs. Smith? Smith. Fields? Yeah, something oh, no. like that. And I would put them in in the oven just because I had been to the property before and I wanted it to smell differently. So I'd bring a pie with me and actually leave the oven, like I would cook it and then leave the oven open. So that way the smell like just flowed out and trust, like it just helped every time. But I had to get there early enough to be able to do that. So getting there at 1045, not for me. And I'm, I'm, usually, a, I'm usually an on time or a few minutes late person in my <laughs> real world. Yep. What else? Who else? What do you guys think? All right. Now, here, here's what I think we should do with this, Brooke, right? Like, let's break this down and come up with a, this is what to do, what not to do for when you're hosting your own open house and when you're asking for somebody else to uh, host your open house and what you're looking for. Would you agree? I agree. And I think one of the other things is we're asking these questions. You shouldn't be asking me these questions. You should be asking the person you're hosting the open house for your own like are you checking yourself like how well are your systems to be able to deliver what you need to deliver to have the best experience right you and, if you're a a list, place. and if you're a list agent what are your expectations of those doing the open house are they clear and how do you communicate them right i'm looking around this room and i see a couple of very strong list agents in this room that i know give out open houses but how are you communicating what you expect done of a property that has your name on the sign? Right, because how many people who are just rolling in don't know if the guy sitting there is Harry or Mike or Matt? They don't know who you are. They don't know that that's not your 
sign out there. They don't know that you're covering. So how you show up for someone, right, could help or hurt. I say this. Yes. Are you going to be posting these findings on our Facebook group? I'm going to, as soon as I go fix all my spelling mistakes. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> and if you arrive at 1045 friends for an 11 a.m. open house, I'm going to cry because I probably have to pee. I would love a snack and I'm anxious as it is as a buyer in this market anyway. So please get there early, get set up. But most of all, ask the people. Oh all right, friends. Over. Okay. All right. We're over by a minute. There's no tech talk today. And we'll make sure to wrap you guys up next week with a fantastic one. But you have half an hour left of your day to now go deploy that social media for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And I cannot wait to see your candy corn posts. All right, friends. Thank you for Bye, everything. guys. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.